What's up YouTube? Alright, so I know I haven't been very active on this thing for a very long time and it's pretty much because when COVID hit, I just didn't really have much to film. So I decided to take a little bit of a break and then I kind of just fell out of the habit of holding my camera and filming everything. But rest assured, I've been getting a lot of messages to get back on and I'm back baby. I'm going to be filming my workouts, filming my nutrition, I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing with my diet. I've grown a lot, I've grown a beard, and I've got a lot to update you guys with my family. So as you guys know, I like to keep it 100 with you, and I like to involve everything from A to Z, including my lifestyle. So today I'm actually going to go and visit my nonno. Since my last update, I think, was when my nonna and my nonno were still living at home. Nonna unfortunately passed away last year in September. Millie unfortunately passed away within a month of each other and then my non was being put in a home because of COVID, it's been really hard to see him. I haven't seen him since Boxing Day, it's now February the 10th or the 11th. So I'm going to try and get as much footage of him because we really just don't know how long he's really going to have left and um, life's just too short so I'm trying to get as many memories of him as I can just like I did my nonna. So anyway, Remy's still good, the gym's open for now. Dan Andrews just about to make an announcement today saying we're probably going into another lockdown in Melbourne. Yep, life is tough. Alright guys, so I just got to the home. I'm about to visit my nonno. Obviously, we've got to wear the masks. About to head in there now. I've got to sign in and shit, which takes a few minutes. And then I'll show you how he's looking. Can't wait. We just got here. They're going to bring him into the room because you're not allowed to actually stay in the foyer. You have to go to their rooms. So this is where he's living at the moment. Mr. Michele De Saro. It's not a bad room actually. It's just a bit boring here because you can't even go outside into the foyer. Like I said, you can't go outside for a walk. Can't even watch TV, there's no TV. So I just gotta sit here and make hand signals to him because he's pretty deaf. <laughs> No, 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 again, io come mi chiamo? Eduardo, Eduardo, yeah, yeah, good. Oh, you got my name right. That's a good sign, huh? Thank you, sir. My money. Yeah! And this one? Mariella. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mariella. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sleep, mate. Night, 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 night. Have nap time. <laughs> oh, you tired, huh? Uh, it's really tired. Really tired. <laughs> Bye, Nonno. Bye, Tara. <laughs> What's up, Active Fam? I'm at the gym, it's Monday, we're in lockdown in Melbourne again, and I'm getting it done. I'm going to put in a chest workout, I'm going explain the workout to you guys as I go. I'm going to write some tips, I'll even put the workout so that you can screenshot it, and then you can follow it along, and then um, I'll film exactly what I'm doing throughout the day in terms of my meal prep, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice along the way. Just me against the world Round and round I'm caught up in this swirl Trying to dig and trying to burrow 
Pressure turned the stone into a pearl Lessons that I learned weren't always thorough Sugar-coated like a churl Now I'm really out here on my own Now my homies acting like I owe them Done extending out my arm Made a lot of money from my poems Been around it, now they say I'm on I can finally say I'm up now I'm up now 20,000 on a bus down A bus down I'm on my way, I'm going up now Up now And I ain't never gonna touch down Touch down So what I did for that first two exercises was four sets of incline presses, superset with some cable flies. Now with the incline presses, the way that I structure my weights is that for the first set, I'm going to do at least 10 to 12 reps. Then I'm going to up the weight and I'm going to max out for the second and third set. So I'm looking to get anywhere from six to eight. Those two sets I got six because I didn't have a spotter. If I had a spotter, I probably could have gone a couple more. Then on the last set, on my fourth set, I always bring it back a little bit and go for higher reps, somewhere around 10 reps. I was also supersetting it with the cables, which means I'm not going to get as many reps and also because I'm by myself. So what I did was I actually paused at the bottom for about four or five seconds and just held it till the muscle really burnt and then I let it go. It's just a little trick that you can do if you're training by yourself and you don't have a spotter. Doing those cable flies is also just another way to just activate the muscles and just really finish it off. If you're training by yourself, especially chest, you gotta look for ways to just really shock the muscles as much as possible. Now I'm gonna do the flat bench, something similar, structuring up to my heavier sets and then coming back down. Mine's on, I can't turn it off. Late nights and I'm turning up. Hate life and I learn to love. Down and out now, I'm way above. I always knew I had it. Now I'm living out my dreams. Treat that money like an addict. It's a habit. I'm a fiend. Feeling that rush. Rocket ready to launch. Hands up ready and gone. Been waiting too long. Trust on plenty that's wrong. Old me steady that's gone. Thank God I'm headstrong. I don't wanna wake up with a doubt. That I show them everything I'm about. I ain't never going out. I ain't never getting full of clutch. Now I'm sitting pretty on the clock. I'm, I'm up now. I'm up now. 20,000 on a bus down. A bus down. I'm on my way up. Going up now. Up now. And I ain't never gonna touch down. I'm going over here. A couple of things in terms of the form. When you're doing these presses, a lot of people press with their elbows going straight out to the side. Now you probably feel stronger because you're utilizing a lot of your front delt through the press. But in order to activate this bottom part of your chest and to create that roundness, you've got to keep your elbows tucked into your lats. Keep your, el keep your elbow underneath the weight, turn the weight on a 45 degree angle, and then drop the weight straight down, keeping that elbow tucked in. That's going to reduce the amount of pressure on your shoulder and increase the amount of pressure through the chest. Now, when you do this exercise, try not to swing backwards and forwards. The less momentum, the better. So as you can see, I'm getting a pretty good pump on the bottom of my chest, upper chest, upper corner, 
The last bit that we need to work really is in here. So I'm going to do an incline dumbbell fly. I love this exercise when you get deep, drop the elbows down, go that little bit heavier, and then really focus on squeezing here at the top of every motion. Don't just hit the dumbbells at the top and then drop it back down. Hold the reps for at least one to two seconds. So watch this next set. So opening up the shoulder width, dropping the elbow straight down, stretching it out, and then coming up and holding at the top. Notice that I don't touch the dumbbells at the top of the movement. I'm really not getting as many reps out as I want to, but this is the corner that we're working. See that chicken fillet right there? It's getting a good pump, even though I'm not using too much weight and I'm not really going past failure, but I'm controlling the weight. That's the most important thing. If you're gonna train by yourself, make sure you control the weight. Just me against the world Round and round I'm caught up in this swirl Trying to dig and trying to burrow Pressure turned this stone into a pearl Lessons that I learned weren't always thorough Sugar coated like a churl Now I'm really out here on my own Now my homies acting like I owe I'm done extending out my arm Made a lot of money from my palms Been around and now they say I'm on I can finally say I'm up now I'm up now 20,000 on a bus down A bus down I'm on my way I'm going up now That's gonna be one of my favorite tricep finishes. It's good because you can go all the way back behind your head when you're doing it one arm, and then lock out at the top, so you're working the full range of motion, and it's particularly working the long head of the tricep. So the tricep, um, the section of the tricep that goes, that attaches into your armpit. So when you flex, you get that nice drop to your tricep. It's called the belly of the tricep. So I just got home and like I said, I ended up going to the gym on an empty stomach. So this is the first thing I'm doing, having a protein shake with a little bit of oats, about 60 grams, 70 grams of blueberries, put a little bit of stevia in there and that's it. Just keeping it simple. Something a little bit lighter because this is like a post-workout meal as opposed to uh, like a breakfast meal. If I was having it for breakfast, I'd probably put like peanut butter and a whole bunch of other shit in there, you know? So let me just update you on what I'm doing with my diet at the moment. So the other day I watched the documentary on Netflix called Game Changers, alright? Now if you know, if, or if you've seen it, or you've heard about it, it's basically a documentary that explains the benefits of becoming a vegetarian. Now I've decided, like, I'm not going to be a full-time vegetarian, but I'm going to give it a go to see if I can see any of the health benefits that the documentary suggests. Um, and I've been doing it for seven days now, and honestly, I've been loving it. Like, my energy levels used to be either really high or really low. And I'd go through a lot of these up and down spirals. What I wanted to get out of it, what the athletes in this documentary said that they got from, and that what I wanted to get from it, is obviously the strength gains. They said that you actually become stronger and that your endurance increases. Um, and also just level more energy. So more consistent levels of energy. So I've been doing it and I've been finding it really good and I've been enjoying the food. As long as you l learn how to cook nice meals, you don't really need meat. Like I love meat and I'm not going to say that I'm never going to eat meat again. Don't get me wrong. On the weekends, I plan to eat meat. All right, because I don't train on the weekends and, and I just wanted to see what it can do for my body Monday to Saturday. So one day a week, 
I might have some chicken or, you know, like on the weekend I had some dumplings, um, just whatever. I've been holding off on the steak and all that because like, I tell you what, I, since I've been doing this, I've been looking at the pan from what I've been cooking and when you clean the pan, I just compare it to when I used to cook a, a steak and there would be all this fat smeared along here and it would take me like three minutes of doing this with the sponge to clear it out in comparison to just like toot, 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 you know and it's done off you go darling all right so we just got to the park probably gonna kick it here for like a good hour or two i'm allowed up to two hours so you know may as well make the most of it considering it's such a nice day outside can i get a high yeah all right I want to show you my gaming room, so lockdown couldn't have come at a better time because I just set this all up, so this is my brand new gaming PC. I've actually been a bit of a gamer since I was young, and I thought I'd invest in a new PC so that I can start streaming, so I've been, I just started streaming on Twitch, and I might even do a little bit of YouTube. I've got the dual monitor, this is a 240Hz monitor, so that's my gaming monitor. That one's obviously just for putting the stream up and some internet pages and whatnot. I've got the... Uh, yeah, the full the full setup. Actually, play on controller. Play a uh, card on controller, but plug it into the PC. Yeah. 